Hmm, do I have another great wig for you all? Yes, I do. Take a look at this and then we'll get into the details. I am so excited. Let's unbox. So in your box, you get a wig cap. You also get an edge band, lashes, and an edge brush. And you don't need this razor even though you get it because today's wig is completely glueless, lace already pre-cut and ready to go. The water wave texture is the best texture you can deal with. It's very easy to manage. It has, has no tangles. I've already wet the hair, washed it and everything and it looks absolutely amazing. It's soft and it just flows really well. It does come with pre-bleached knots so you do not need to bleach the knots. Now I know we've seen the Invisi strap in the back of the caps. This gives you the opportunity to pull it up with no glue. But this company said we're going to triple the strap. They put three of those bad boys in the back of it for a more secure fit. And they also added the adjustable band so you can go completely glueless, pull that back up. We're going to do all that. But this is what the inside of the 360 Invisi strap cap look like. To apply, the drawstring already comes loosened, so what you want to do is just grab each end and pull it until it ripples and creates a scrunch at the back of the wig. This is going to secure it where it'll lay flat and you want to adjust it to your head size, of course, and you also want to apply it with that band that's inside of there that's going to give an extra hold. And then take the comb, insert it in the back of your nape and that's going to lay it flat. Once you have it on, it should be holding. We're going to test that out right now. I'm going to swing this hair all around my head. But this is what 26 inches look like. This is the water wave. And I just love this texture so much. It's gorgeous. But yeah, I'm going to just swing this wig. We're going to see if it stay on my head with no glue. I have done absolutely no type of glue method. This wig is really staying on. <laughs> Go ahead and install this wig. It's not much to do here. All you need to do is just push that hairline back. You don't need to use glue, but of course you don't want that lace to be visible at all. So I'm going to take some of this melting spray by my stick little secret. It'll be linked in the description box for y'all and apply that around the hairline. Now this lace says transparent. I don't want you to think that it means the visibility of it. It definitely just means like the color. It's like that lightish color. So you want to make sure you are using something to blend it and you can see that it blends really well once you add that melting spray by the way the link for this wig will be below in a description box below this video just click the show more button take your edge band tie this down for 15 minutes let everything just settle and then come back to the styling to finish up the hairline i'm just going to take some of this bronzer and touch up the edge of that lace so it can blend with my makeup and everything this is optional if you put it on it blends really well for you that's great if it don't you can add a little bit of um, bronzer around the hairline and boom looks good this hair is thick and I've ran my fingers through it so many times and it's not frizzing to the point where it looks really bad it still looks very natural it's super soft and this is a lot of hair so you can definitely request a lighter density and of course go with a shorter length because you know the longer the length the more it's gonna cost so if you guys are cost savvy definitely pay attention to the length of the wig that you're getting but we're gonna go ahead and style I'm gonna show you how to pull this 360 Invisi strap wig up with no glue in the back no glue in the front um, so I'm just showing you this first style which is just a bun and a clip yeah look at the back gorgeous no glue that looks so good y'all I love the comfort of the Invisi strap if they can just recall all the old 360 straps in the back and 13 by 6 just add that it'll be awesome but yeah this with the front I did add some baby hairs you don't have to do that if you don't want to but I liked it it looks really good and don't think you can't do partings this parting is really good from ear to ear on this wig so you can also do a half up half down style they give you a good amount of parting there that you can work with and because they have those pre bleached knots it looks like scalp okay so this is just the second style that I want to show you guys it's very simple just two small buns and leave the back out just twist it down pin it up girl you got you a look So 
So again, this is a wig that has everything prepared. It's one of them put on and go wigs. You don't need to do anything to it out the box. The only thing I had to do was kind of unbend that lace because the lace was a little bent when it came out of the packaging. But you can easily fix that just by laying it down with that melting spray, tying it down with that band. And of course, like you've seen, I created edges. If you're gonna be pulling your wig up, I will recommend um, using some type of tape or something at the sides, like I showed you guys in my last video, but it's up to you, really. This wig is very secure. You saw I swung my head completely around and it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> All you have to do is melt that lace and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. This wig will be linked below in the description box and I will see you back in my next video. Mm -hmm.